What if I told you there's a substance that was forged not in the heart of a star, but in the laboratories of human beings? A substance that is both a lifesaver and a potential hazard, and it might be in your home right now. Intrigued? Welcome to the enigmatic world of americium. Americium is not something you'll find on the periodic table in your high school chemistry class. It's a synthetic element, born not from the fiery furnaces of a star, but from the relentless curiosity of mankind. Americium was brought to life during the Manhattan Project, a time of great uncertainty and immense scientific breakthrough. Its atomic number is 95, and it's primarily produced by bombarding uranium or plutonium with neutrons in nuclear reactors. This is a substance that plays a dual role. It saves lives, being a crucial component of smoke detectors, yet it also poses potential dangers due to its radioactivity. It's a testament to human ingenuity, demonstrating our ability to create elements that nature did not provide. Let's dive deeper into the story of americium, a testament to human ingenuity. Americium wasn't discovered by chance. Its birth was the result of a deliberate and intense scientific endeavor during one of the most critical periods in human history. The year was 1944, in the midst of World War II, a time of turmoil, tension, and technological innovation. Nestled within this backdrop was a top secret project that would change the course of history, the Manhattan Project. This was not just about creating a devastating weapon, it was a hotbed for scientific discovery. At the heart of this project was a team of brilliant minds led by Glenn T. Seaborg, a chemist based at the University of California, Berkeley. Seaborg and his team were not just participating in the war effort, they were pushing the boundaries of human understanding, venturing into the unknown depths of the atomic world. Their mission? To create a new element. Never before in human history had this been achieved, and the process would be as complex as it sounds. Their target elements, uranium and plutonium. These were bombarded with neutrons in the controlled environment of a nuclear reactor, a feat of engineering in itself. As the neutrons smashed into the uranium and plutonium atoms, they were absorbed into the nucleus, causing a change in the atomic structure and leading to the formation of a new element. This synthetic, radioactive element was named americium after the Americas, where it was first produced. The creation of americium wasn't merely a scientific curiosity. This was a demonstration of human ingenuity, a testament to our ability to manipulate the very building blocks of the universe and a stark reminder of the power harnessed within the atom. The birth of americium was a significant achievement, a groundbreaking discovery that opened new avenues in science and technology. And yet, it was born in a conflict, a child of war, its existence deeply intertwined with the narrative of human struggle and the pursuit of knowledge. And thus, from the crucible of war, Americium was born. While Americium's birth might be steeped in history, its life is all around us in ways we might not realize. Americium, the synthetic element with atomic number 95, is not just confined to science labs or nuclear research facilities, it has infiltrated our daily lives, subtly and silently, serving us in myriad ways. One of the most common places to find americium is in smoke detectors. This radioactive element is the unsung hero in our homes, keeping us safe from potential fire hazards. The isotope americium-241 is used in these detectors, where it emits alpha particles. These particles ionize the air in the detector's chamber, creating a current. When smoke enters the chamber, it disrupts this current, triggering the alarm. But the role of americium doesn't stop there. It also plays a crucial part in the field of industrial measurements. Using its gamma radiation, americium helps engaging the thickness of materials in industries, ensuring precision and quality control. Americium also serves as a neutron source. Its isotope, americium-243, when bombarded with neutrons, undergoes fission and releases more neutrons. This property is utilized in neutron radiography and neutron capture therapy, a type of cancer treatment. However, the versatility of americium comes with a caveat. Being a radioactive element, it poses potential dangers. It's concentrated in areas affected by nuclear testing and incidents, and its prolonged radioactivity is a matter of concern. Efforts are being made to neutralize this through nuclear transmutation, a process of converting one nuclide into another. So americium, while not naturally occurring, has found its way into our everyday lives. 
As we stand at the frontier of scientific discovery, what does the future hold for americium? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Researchers around the globe are striving to unlock further potential of this remarkable element. The goal? To find new applications that can benefit society, of course. But there's another side to this coin. The question of how to neutralize americium's prolonged radioactivity is one that's been puzzling scientists for years. The idea is to transform this radioactive element into a less harmful state using a process known as nuclear transmutation. This is no small feat, but if successful, it could revolutionize the way we handle radioactive substances. Yet with great power comes great responsibility. As we push the boundaries of what's possible with americium, we must not forget the importance of handling such substances with care. This element is a testament to human ingenuity, and as such, it's up to us to ensure its use benefits rather than harms our world. Americium, a product of the human mind, continues to challenge us, inspire us, and drive us forward into the unknown. So, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned about this fascinating element. Americium, with atomic number 95, is a synthetic radioactive element that was discovered in 1944 during the Manhattan Project. Conceived in the crucible of nuclear reactors by bombarding uranium or plutonium with neutrons, americium has found its way into smoke detectors, neutron sources, and industrial gauges. Its most common isotopes are 241Am and 243Am, each with their own unique properties and oxidation states. The brainchild of Glenn T. Seaborg and his team at the University of California, Berkeley, americium is relatively scarce and primarily produced for research purposes. Despite its synthetic origins, trace amounts may even occur naturally in uranium minerals. Furthermore, americium tends to concentrate in areas affected by nuclear testing and incidents. Though we continue to grapple with its prolonged radioactivity, efforts are underway to neutralize this through nuclear transmutation, opening up new avenues for this element's future. From its birth in the throes of war to its role in our daily lives, americium truly is a testament to the power of scientific discovery. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the atomic world.